Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's video. Now, if you've watched this channel for a while, you know in the past I rescued a betta fish from, I think it was Facebook Marketplace. They were giving away this betta fish or they were trying to sell this betta fish in like a fish bowl. Bad situation, rescued the betta fish, got it into a nice, happy, healthy home, and it thrived for about a year, maybe even two years, I believe. I don't know, that video is pretty old. But today I was on Facebook Marketplace looking around and I found someone selling a fish tank full of fish. So obviously I talked to them a little bit, asked them about the fish, there's a whole bunch of tropical fish. The tank actually looks great, it looks really well taken care of. I think they just have to break down the tank and get rid of it. So what I went ahead and did was ask if they would let me take their fish or buy their fish off of them, and they said the fish were all mine. I talked to them kind of about my tanks and you know, have tons of space to put them and how they'd be definitely taken care of in my house. And they went ahead and said I could get them. So I'm gonna have to throw up some pictures of the tank right here so you can kind of see what we're getting into. It is a 40-ish gallon tank looks very well taken care of like I said got the filter got the current USA lights it looks like a really nice setup unfortunately I can't buy the tank because I simply don't have the room here but regardless we are gonna get these fish and get them into my home aquariums I'm not quite sure what aquariums though I've got this 55 gallon freshwater tank I actually recently adopted a rainbow fish from Petco that's in here he is right there there's the rainbow fish and then I also have this 36 gallon aquarium that we made a video on last week so as you can see, I have tons of room to move fish from tank to tank. I'm planning to move some fish out of the 36 gallon tank to kind of make some more room for some new fish. So I think what I'm gonna do first is actually move the baby fish, which are some of these tiny platies that are in this 36 gallon aquarium because they're just kind of clogging up the tank and move them into this little mini patio bowl. We already have a few platies in here, but I think I wanna get a little bit more just to add some color and they will totally thrive in this aquarium or this pond, I should say. Perfect water volume, tons of live plants, and it's an amazing habitat. Okay, so I threw some platies in here. They are done acclimating, so I'm just gonna grab this and dump these guys out. There's about five of them, and these are going in with some koi and some other baby minnows. Swinging on over here, we have more platies, right, going in the mini pond with some minnows and some platies already. We're just adding a few more right here. And just like that, we have a whole bunch of new platies in here. They're fighting the current because the current in here is super strong. However, they will quickly get used to it. We already have some platies in here and they are doing great. But that's it for this little mini pond. And now that we've freed up some space, let's go grab those other fish. A few moments later. Okay, so I just picked up the fish. They're in this bucket right next to me. I also got a whole bunch of supplies um, that I just took anyways. Uh, she asked if I wanted it all. I didn't even see what was in there, but if it's fish stuff, I could always use more of it. I felt bad kind of taking everything, not gonna lie, but she offered it, so um, sorry. Maybe I'll ask for her Venmo. Maybe I'll Venmo her something. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna ask if I can Venmo her. Uh, such a nice person. Anyway, the fish are right here. I'm gonna run these guys inside and show you exactly what we have. Okay, so I got the fish in and here they all are. So it's hard for you to see right now, but we have two clown loaches, two angel fish, a pleco, a really large catfish, uh, what looks like a yolo lo yo yo loach, a rainbow shark, and maybe a Raphael striped catfish going on down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start acclimating these guys, and then we'll go ahead and check out some of the supplies we got. Oh, and there's also a pretty cool rose line shark. All right, so I sectioned them off into little bags of what's going in each tank. So the first thing right here, or the first fish, are gonna be the three loaches. We have the two clown loaches, the one YOLO loach, and the garami, as well as the two angel fish, which are right here. Next up, I have the common pleco. Now these guys get big. He's not big now, but I want him to be able to grow to his full size, so he's gonna go in the 110 gallon pond. Plenty of algae for him to eat. There is a bristlenose pleco in there, I think. Shouldn't be an issue. There's tons of algae in there for him to eat, and he will grow nice and happy and healthy in there. I just want to give him the most space possible, and then eventually, if he outgrows that, he will go into the koi pond. Last but not least, we have these three. Actually, no, there's one more fish that I haven't shown you yet, or that I showed you, but it's not in a bag. We have what I believe is a Raphael striped catfish, the uh, shark, the rainbow shark, as well as the other guy, which I don't remember the name of him right now, but he's pretty cool. Oh, the Roseland shark, that's what he is. But these are gonna go in the 55 gallon aquarium. Now the last fish will be going in my koi pond. Due to the nature of this fish, I feel like the koi pond will fit it nicely. And it is that Cincidonis catfish. Now these guys don't get super, super big, but they get pretty big. 
They can be a little disruptive, but they like to just stay in caves during the day. And I have this nice little cave right over here. There's tons of hiding spots and these catfish do like to hide. Tons of room in here for him. And so this is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna dump some of this water out right here. Hopefully he doesn't come with it, but I'm gonna dump some water out and then we're just gonna get this bucket to acclimate. So now I'm just gonna sit it just like this give it a little bit let that acclimate and then we'll just release him right into the pond but there is a little bit of a better look at him he is doing pretty good later all right these guys have been acclimating the longest so i'm going to pop open this bag these are the two angelfish which is going to go in with the other three angelfish so a whole bunch of angelfish in here as the angelfish get bigger i will move them around these guys are just a little small to go in the 55 gallon with the big parrot cichlid but we have the garami the yolo loach the two clown loaches and the angelfish going right into their new home just like that there they go so we have the veil tail angel the normal angel which looks very similar to the ones they already have the garami down here just chilling and then the loaches in the corner which will go ahead and find tons of caves and nice spots for them to hide very soon next up is going to be the roseline shark the rainbow shark and that little catfish so i'm going to open these guys up just like so and pour them right in there goes the Roseland shark and the catfish and the rainbow shark. So that's it for the 55 gallon. I would eventually like to put some of the angelfish in here. However, this parrot cichlid is pretty aggressive. So I'm just going to wait till the angelfish get a little bit bigger and then we'll put a few in here. There's also that new rainbow fish we got from Petco. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. Next up is going to be that common pleco. Pop his bag open and he blends in so well. But we'll just get him out just like, come on, get out. Dude, dude, the bag's literally open. Just like that, there he goes. Now we can go ahead and check out what is all in this five gallon bucket of aquarium supplies and then we'll check on some of the fish that just got added. First thing right here is an aquarium scraper. Very useful. Um, if I need to scrape aquariums, got a nice little blade right there. There was also a net in there that I used to uh, catch the fish. Just thought I should throw that in. Um, another net right here. Can never have too many nets. I have like 500 of them, which is great. Some test strips. These test for ammonia. That's nice. Honestly, people bag on test strips, but like I low key love them because you don't have to deal with the drops and the mixing and the these. Lifesaver. Love these. Some general cure. Um, I love this stuff too. This treats for intestinal parasites in fish. Love this stuff. I always have some in my stand. Love to add to the pile. Ick guard. I don't really use this stuff that much. Doesn't look like there's that much left in here anyway, but good to have. Stress coat, great dechlorinator. Use this all the time. Melafix, don't use this as often. It's a fish medication for bacterial infections. It's very mild, so I tend to not use it. See, Comparagard, never used it before, but this bottle is empty, so it looks like you won't be using it anytime soon. A whole bunch of airline tubing, always great to have on hand, as well as a little sponge. Another fish net. Some aquarium salt. Who doesn't love aquarium salt? Some nice New Life Spectrum food. One of my favorite fish food brands. And this is the large pellet formula. Great for saltwater fish, freshwater fish, amazing all around food. Some Tropical Flakes by Omega One. Some algae wafers. These are the same ones I already used, so great to have more. Some cichlid pellets. This will be great to fill my automatic feeder on the parrot cichlid tank. These also are great for angelfish because if you didn't know, angelfish are cichlids. And another little thing of cichlid pellets. Last but not least, back at it again with the Tetra test strips. These test for nitrate, nitrite, chlorine, alkalinity, hardness, and pH. Love these test strips. And then of course, a free bucket. Actually, not free because I venomed her. But you get the point. But that is it for all the supplies. Super good a haul. Super satisfied with all this stuff. I will put all this stuff to good use. So that's awesome. I'm going to give the other little catfish a little more time to acclimate. And then we'll go ahead and release him into the koi pond and check on some of the other fish real quick. 12 seconds later. Okay, it's been a little bit and it's time to get our catfish into our pond. Gently just going to dump this guy in. I don't want to get any of that white gravel because that would kind of look ugly. Okay, come out. Dude, dude, stop, bruh. Oh my god. Don't get the gravel in. Okay, there he goes. And there he is. Obviously his colors will darken and he will blend in with the pond liner pretty soon. But there he is. He probably has no idea what to do with all this space. But he is just going to chill. Tons of caves in here. Uh, water temperature is perfect for him. He might have to come out during the winter. That could be an issue. But we'll just play it by ear. And that's him. That's our new catfish. Two days later. It is a few days later and I just wanted to check in on the fish. So first off we have the two angelfish. These guys are doing awesome. They're eating and everything. 
Also in here we have the garami. He also is eating today, so that's awesome. Sometimes fish can be skittish and not eat, but luckily they're doing pretty good. Okay, so we can also check in on these fish. These are the same ones we got when we got the other one. So we have that rainbow shark right here, still a little bit skittish, but is doing super good and eating super well. And then we also have the other shark right here. There's the tiny baby catfish, or I don't even know what it is, the little strapped Raphael catfish, but it's super tiny. He is right hiding in between those rocks. And other than that, everyone in this tank is doing great. So that is going to be a wrap for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching us get a ton of new fish. I think we got 11, maybe 12 new fish to add to three separate aquariums. Super fun. And then we also moved some fish around. Overall, a good time. But thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.